Hi everybody, it's Janet with Fruit of the Vine Art Studio and thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful Saturday. It is Saturday, January the 15th and today the Bengals are playing in the playoff and we are going to do something in honor of that today. Let me find it over here on my computer real quick and then we're going to move forward. I just want to get this pulled up real fast so that, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, there we go. Turn that volume off. Anyway, when you hop on, I'd love it if you'd say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. I'd really appreciate it. What we're going to do today is I've got this Bengal Tiger all drawn out here for you. And we're going to paint that in. So I'm sure you can guess what colors we're going to be using for that. A little bit of orange. A little bit of black. A little bit of white. And then... We're going to add a little bit of green because, like it says in the description, join me in the jungle. So we're going to add a little bit of the jungle motif to it, too. So I'm going to tilt you down and we're going to go ahead and get started. Here we go. Now I learned a little something here. Not too big, but I want it to be big enough to where you can see it real well. That might be just a smidge too big. Let me take it down. There we go. That looks better. I want you to be able to see it well, but I'll start moving it around and I want it to be able to stay within the, you know, within the frame of the camera. Anyway, we're going to start off. We're going to start off with using some white. Let me just get that out here. And I'm not really going to need two awful much white for this, I don't think. And I'm going to use this little bitty brush here, a little fine line brush. And I'm going to dip this in the water first. You see this water. I'm going to dip it in the water first, get my brush a little bit wet, and then I'm just going to get some of the paint and thin it down just a little bit so it won't be too thick for me. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint just a couple of spots white in this cat. We've got this little spot right here that's going to be white. We've got an area right here that's a white. Comes right down through here. Now, with a white canvas... You really don't have to paint these areas in with the white, but I like to make myself, you know, I mean, the canvas has already been gessoed. I'm sure that it has, or gessoed, depending on how you say that yourself. I've heard it said both ways. Anyway, I'm sure that it has, but um, I just kind of like to make sure that all parts of my canvas have actually had some kind of paint applied to them. So I just kind of do this stuff sort of regardless. I add the white in whether you really need to or you don't. Just like the white of his eyes, I'm going to do the white of his eyes. And then I can always go back and work on it and make it look better as we go along. But for now, I'm just getting a little layer down on it. That little row of white I got right there, they've got this white right here. The three little stripes that come out on his face and right here's white and I know right now this is a little hard for you to see because I'm painting with white okay and he's got his teeth bottom teeth his little chin spot This comes down white all the way down through here, doesn't it? This isn't completed. This needs to come across right here into the chin. I've got a little mistake on my outline. I can see it. Okay, that's all right. There's no such thing as a mistake. All we do is just work on that and 
add a little more white to it to where you don't see the black line that I had drawn underneath it. Because I can see what's looking wrong with it, what needs to be fixed. And I think it's going to be just fine. It's not going to hurt anything. We've got these claws right here. And of course, I'm going to be touching this up with black around the outside. And in fact, I might even just use my paint pen to do the black part. And that way I can get a really nice fine line to it. A very nice outline on it. Of course, I'll be using black in the background. So we'll be using black paint any way you look at it. Be, I'll be getting paint out, that's for sure. Okay. This is a white right in here. This is white right in here. Really looking forward to watching the game today. Don't get to go, unfortunately. Don't get to go. Uh, now let's see, what am I missing? There's a spot right here. That right there is orange. That right there is an orange color. Okay, so I think that that's, we've got this white outline that goes around the outside of the cat. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a layer of the white right there. Around this outline. That goes right back underneath his chin right here. Around those toenails. Claws. That's what those are. Those are actual claws. Big cat claws. I've always loved the big cats myself. All of those big cats. We've got some actual beautiful, beautiful big cats at the Cincinnati Zoo. The Cincinnati Zoo has some wonderful exhibits. We haven't been there this year, although my son um, has a pass and wanted us to go with them. We haven't actually been ourselves. I haven't been to the zoo in a couple of years now, but it's always, always a fun treat. I always enjoyed going to the zoo. When the kids were little, we used to get a pass every year. We'd buy a zoo pass, take the kids to the zoo a few times every summer. And now that's what my one son's doing. Now they got their pass and they go. They've been quite a few times. They've been over to the festival, the lights and all of that stuff. We, we didn't get to do that this year either. Everything's always so different with this crazy covid -y stuff going on right now. We've gone back to having no juries in the Hamilton County um, court system, municipal court system. So the juries are back down again. Everything's getting kind of wacky. You know, we are, of course, we wear masks at work. We wear our masks at work, but a lot of people have been getting sick here recently. Actually, my son got sick this week, my, my youngest son. And uh, he tested positive, and now the rest of his family's getting sick. So it's just, it's just wild the amount that's going on here. But they've not, I mean, thank God, thank God they are doing pretty well. Just having some, you know, the the regular trouble coughing and a lot of mucus and all that. They're good stuff, but luckily nobody's. Nobody's had to go to the to the doctor, or I mean, besides getting tested, you know, they're waiting on a vaporizer to get delivered. But anyway, well, we're not talking about that right now. COVID is, is, is here, and we are doing the best that we can to contain it by following the guidelines as much as possible, anyway, that I know of. And all we can do is just wade through it and hope that eventually we get a handle on it or whatever in the heck it is going on. Today, though, that's going to be a game and a half. Well, it's been, what, 30 years, 31 years since the Bengals have been in the playoffs. And, well, it's been 20 years, 20 years, maybe, yeah, 20 years since the Raiders were in the playoffs. So it's not like, you know, they're that it's only just a little less than 10 years difference there a little more a little less whatever rinse this off oops and i'm gonna go ahead and get out the orange now get that 
started right there. Let's see. Should I use the same brush? Maybe I'll use this one. It, it, it might go a little quicker. Here we go. Let's do that one. Okay. Let me turn him around here so I can get a good look at him. Hey, Carol. Getting ready for the snowstorm? Uh, it, yeah, it, it's, we are watching our news and it's so conflicting here. You never know what the heck's going on. The other day, you know, they were saying, oh, it's going to miss you, it's going to miss, it's going to miss, it's going to miss, it's going to miss us. And then they said, you could see it like on the map and it was going like right around where we live in Cincinnati, going right around the outside of that area and right into Kentucky and over into West Virginia and all of that. And now they're saying, well, it looks like it's going to come and get us. So, you know, probably won't, we won't have anything on the streets. <laughs> we won't be prepared, you know, because we're too busy thinking it's not going to happen. <laughs> but hopefully that's, uh, I'm just, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully we'll be nice and prepared when when, if, when and if that snow gets here. I'm taking it you guys are uh, having predictions for a lot of that to come your way too then. It's, it's. Looks like it's going to be a bad one. We had talked about going to West Virginia this weekend since it's a uh, a three-day weekend. I don't work on Monday because of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, so we were talking about going to West Virginia, but then when we started watching, <laughs> watching the news and seeing what was going on in the area, it started, uh, I don't think we're going to do that now. I think that that might just forget that. It looks like they're going to get it much, much worse than we are. It would be fun to be up there and ride the side by side and all of that, but I definitely don't want to get up there and then get caught out in some kind of crazy storm and not be able to get back down off of the hill and be stuck in West Virginia for a while. I can't do that. I got to get back and get to work. <laughs> but it would have been a good fun time. We were, you know, I mean, they, they had snow last week pretty bad and we were just going to go up and get the side by side out and just ride around in, the, in what remaining snow there was there, but it appears that uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of fresh new snow there, and oh well, no, no thanks. I, I'm not, I'm not that big of a fan of the snow. I like snow; it's pretty when it first falls, but I don't want to get caught up there in some kind of crazy blizzard. And it looks like it's going to be a crazy blizzard, a real crazy blizzard. That needs to come down right there on the side. There we go. That's better. Just trying to get that filled in there. This is orange right here. Oh. Yeah. Safe at home. That's right. So, yeah, we're, we're, we are going to just stay home and just see what happens, you know. I mean, we can always go out and play in the snow here if it comes down to it, but we don't have the side-by-side -side here. But, you know, that's all right. There'll be another day, another time to do that stuff <laughs> and be up there and get stuck or something, be stuck on the hill. I don't know what would happen. It'd be a nightmare. You'd have a lot of fun with the side-by-side. -side. I don't know, but I ain't going to drive that back to Cincinnati. <laughs> That'd be kind of cold, too. That thing doesn't even have a roof on it. Doesn't have a windshield. But we were just going to go up and play a little bit, but yeah. No, not this time. Not this time. There'll be another opportunity before too long. Spring break or something will come along and we'll get a couple of days and go up. Or maybe just run up on a Saturday and hang out and come back. All right, little tiger. I think there's another little bit of orange on this paw over here. This looking W right here is an orange W. Funny how I talk about it like that. It is a W. I look at like the um, the shapes of these as I draw them. What is the what is the shape closest like that I can relate it to? And this is either a M or a W, depending on which way you're facing. And that was how I drew that. And this toe right here is an orange toe. 
oddly enough. That looks about right. Okay, I'm going to turn him this way a little bit. Um, you know, I'd love to go to the game today, but it, it is wickedly cold out there. I know there's going to be heat in the numbers of the folks that are there. You're always warmer in a group of people, and they'll all be nicely dressed, you know, to keep themselves warm and stuff. But still, it'd be awfully cold just sitting there out in them stands. I'd freeze my tail off. I'm, like I said, I'm not one that, um, that likes cold like that. My, my oldest son, my oldest son, he loves the cold. He, he, he loves the cold. He, uh, if it's going to snow and it's cold, he's happy about that. He's a winter kind of guy. Whereas me, I'm, I'm more, I guess, you know, it's funny though. I think about things like that too. He was born in February and I wonder if that has any, any bearing up on it. I was born in August. I like summertime. I like it to be warm. He was born in the wintertime. He likes cold. And I often wonder, does that have any bearing on that kind of stuff? I don't really know. I guess that would be something to research, if you were so inclined. Yeah, the whole time I'm painting this, I got that song going through my head, Welcome to the Jungle. Can't sing it, can't play it, because then I'd get in trouble. But I can still, <laughs> I can still hear it in my own jukebox. <laughs> I talk about things like that, you know, I, I'm, I'm funny about things like that inside my head. It's like there's always some kind of music playing or something like that. If I read a book, I have what I call a, a mind movie while I read books. And, you know, all my life growing up, I just figured everybody was exactly the same, that we were all the same when it came to things like that, that when we read books, that we could see like a movie inside of our head. Hey, Steve. Thanks for joining me. That so we could see like a movie inside of our head and that went along with the book as we read it. And it's funny, as I've, as I've grown older and spoken with people, I've realized that that's not necessarily true. Some people do, and some people just do not. They don't get that. They don't get that from reading. And I find that to be so, so interesting that we are made so different. Yet we're all so much the same. And and just like I was saying there about like, you know, the weather. Is, is it, has it got something to do with the time of the year that we're born that determines what might be our favorite season? I don't know. Is that is that something? I don't know. Has anybody really, you know, gave that any thought? I don't know that anybody really has. I'm sure I'm not the first person to come up with that, though. Jeez, you know, not hardly. world's been around a really long time. But, you know, to me, it's just one of those things that makes you think. Favorite time of year in the, is, is the spring? When was your birthday? What's your birthday? Now, I know in a way that that's sort of, I can dispute it right off when I think about it. My mother's birthday was in September. Which, of course, is, you know, that's truly, it's late summer. But it's also what we would consider the beginning of school, the beginning of fall. And my mother... My mother did not like fall. My mother thought of fall as a time of the year when, hey Mel, thanks for joining me. Hope everything's going good for you. My mother was the kind of person who, uh, she didn't like fall. She felt that fall was an ending of the year and that everything was dying and it was the end of the season and she found it to be sad. Whereas, you know, I, I like fall. I love fall actually. I think fall's a great time of year and yeah, all the leaves fall off the trees, but that's okay. They're just shaking off that stuff they don't need anymore and preparing for a fresh new year where they're going to burst all out and new, have a breakthrough. I love spring, too. I'm kind of, actually, I'm the kind of person that I like all the seasons for a, for a minute. You know, winter's great for a minute. I, I enjoy that first snowfall come down. It's beautiful when you look out in the yard and it's all pristine and and you can see the sunshine glinting off of the snow and sparkling out there. And if there's some of those icicles hanging in the trees and the light shines through them and they look like a prism and they got the colors shooting all out of them. And 
It's so, so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful when you look out. And then you go, and you go out in the front of the house, and you go to get in your car, and it's a bunch of old slush and muck and muck all over the place, and it's a mess, and there's salt all over the place, and it gets all over your shoes, and it gets all over your pant legs, and I don't know, then I'm sick of it. That's enough. <laughs> That's absolutely enough of winter. I'm done. Once we get to that point, snow's pretty for a day, for uh, an hour or so, and then I'm done. It can go now. <laughs> that's sort of dismissive of me, I know. But that's, you know, I'm just not a... It's pretty. It's a pretty thing to look at. I'm not a fan of cold. Not a fan of cold. Not a fan of cold weather. I don't like having to get out of my car and walk to work a couple of blocks. And it's just a couple of blocks. And I think, boy, you know, what a baby. It's such a big baby about it. But, geez, I just, I just, as I get older, the older I get the less I like the cold. And then I think about myself as a teenager and how funny it is. I remember I would I was afraid to wear a bulky coat. I didn't want to look like I was fat. I wanted everybody to think I was a thin girl. And so I'd wear things like a jean jacket in the wintertime. Yeah, geez, you sure couldn't get me to do that these days, man. Got me a big old goose down coat and I'll put that sucker on with a great big floppy hat and I don't care if I wrap a scarf around my head and I don't care if I look like the daggone Michelin man. I am not going out there and getting cold. I'm done with that stuff. Give me some leggings, put me on some long johns. Well, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to keep warm. I don't want to be cold. Funny though, in the summertime, we'll keep the house really, really cold and you'll be running around half freezing all the time putting on blankets anyway. But it's a different kind of cold then because all you got to do is open the door and step out for a minute. And you'll be burning up within moments anyway because, yeah, you know, in the summer it's it, it gets pretty warm out there. Up in the 90s. Pretty hot, pretty easy. Doesn't take much to go outside and, and get warmed up real quick. Real quick. Ah. Oh. We've got a dreary, overcast-looking day, I guess, getting ready for that snowstorm to come in. The way I'm facing here is sort of the west. I kind of face the west, so you can you can kind of see the really stormy-looking clouds. I love this way this is turned now for uh, the studio. Worked on it over the weekend and last weekend and got it all rearranged. And now I face the window instead of sort of sitting with my back towards or my side towards the window. I face the window and I love that because then, you know, I can see natural light and I can see outside. And it's just, to me, it's just so, so much better. I really, really, really like the setup for the new studio here. I want to get some other things to put some strips up above where the paintings are back there so I can hang some more up and figure out a way to get some more stuff up there so that it shows. But as far as... The seating arrangement, the, the, the lighting for me, I really like it. Really like it. Okay, I've just got a couple of little orange spots right here that i got to fill in, and then we're going to start working with some black, which shouldn't take us very long at all when it comes down to that, that's for sure. And then I put up two greens, two different greens. I've got a dark green and a lighter green out. What's Coco doing? There's Coco. Come here. Come here, Coco. Come here. Can you come here? Whoa! I don't think you guys can see her, though, can you? Here's Coco over coming for a visit. Oh. I don't think she could get that high up. I've got this zoomed in. She, yeah, she's just going to hang out for a minute. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Okay, so now we've got that part done. I think that's pretty well done. What are you doing? She's over here running around behind me now. Don't you lay down and be a good girl. Okay. It's ready for the black. I wonder how the pen would work. I can use the pen to 
go around. Spots here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that here. Just around these little. This is an acrylic paint pen. So this is actually acrylic paint in a pen form. I don't think you can read it. It says acrylic painter. Actually, if you wanted to know the brand, this is the brand that I'm using. It's called Flysea, F-L-Y-S-E-A. Flysea Acrylic Painter. They come with um, three black and three white in this particular box. And I really like them. I like the black and I like the white. The white works really well. Here's what it looks like. They both work really well. They have a nice, a nice little point to them. Hi, Clover. What size brush was I using? Um, this brush is a, I don't know if it'll, it's a 2O. Can you see it? I don't think it shows. Let me see. It's written. See how it's a 2 slash O. It's a very small 2 is what it is. It's a number two. And then I'm just going to take this and continue outlining right here around this paw area. Around these claws. Just kind of outline this area because that's all going to be black inside of there. Now, I am going to fill that in with the brush, but I'm just doing these outlines right here with this pen. Just go around this claw. And I could almost fill this whole thing in with the pen, actually. They work so well. They work so easy. You don't want to brush too fast with them, though, because they will shoot. All of a sudden, it'll start spraying little pieces and start shooting it. And that, that, that does, that can mess up some stuff. You do have to be kind of a little careful with it. I'm going to work on his teeth area here, too, right in here. Just around this chin. Let me look at that again. Yeah, this is a thicker area that goes right through here and his teeth. Try to get in between them there. That little thing sticks out right there and right there around the edge. Mm. Kind of give them more of a fangy look. Just a little bit there. Just a little bit. You need top teeth need a little bit of a bangy look. Not too much. I can't do too much with that, I'll tell you. Or I'll end up messing up the mouth area. I can just leave that alone and not worry about it. Start getting worried about those little things. I'm just going to end up making a mess. Bring this around right here and it comes down. You know, and it's funny, you look at this and it's like I'm drawing, but actually I'm painting. But I am drawing. 
I do like paint pens. I have to I have to admit, I do like paint pens. They are pretty cool. And they can make things so much easier, especially if you're doing like lettering on something. You're going to put the lettering on something. It really makes a difference to have a paint pen. It's it's I don't know, it's something it's got a lot to do with just being able to control your hands much much easier. There. I mean, look at that little chin again. How's that go? It goes sort of like he's got a, a couple of jags right there. A little wider down here. Okay, and over here, this is black. Black over in here. Here we go. It's got a little like jag looking spot right there. You guys still able to see what I'm doing? Pretty much so, pretty much so. Make sure I'm trying to keep it in the frame for you here. Bring it right through there. Now that kind of took one of the little lines away on his cheek, but that's okay. I'm not even going to worry about that. For one thing, it doesn't need to be exact. It's just a close representation, huh? That's what we're working for. A close representation of that cat. Okay. I'm just going to bring this through here. Hear that crunching? Crunch, 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 crunch. it down, get a little more ink. We'll go over here. There we go. Get the ink flowing again. Sometimes you gotta press it down and get the ink to flow again. Not the ink, the paint. Get that paint flowing. A little jags in the top of that ear right there. Now he's starting to come together and look like that Bengal tiger. That's what I was thinking. He's looking kind of funny for a little bit there. Oh, wait a minute. That was supposed to be white right there. I'm going to have to go back and make that white. Uh-oh. So now he's not the same. I got started coloring and carried away, huh? That's all right. We'll just let it dry just a moment. And then I'll go back and fix it. I have to look and see where exactly am I supposed to fix it now? Right in here. Right in there. Right in there. Pull this right through here, and this seems kind of thin underneath right there, so I'm going to go ahead and color this in with the pen. Right up underneath here. See, once you get started talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing, I'll start coloring in the wrong spots. 
but that's okay. We can fix it. We can fix it. As Bob would say, it was just a happy little accident. Just a happy little accident. I got a steady hand today, Clover. I see that. I see that comment. I got a steady hand today. Last week, boy, I had drank so much coffee, my hands was shaking all over the place. I had to hold my other hand. I had to hold two. I had to take this hand and hold that hand to keep it from shaking while I was trying to make dots. <laughs> it was just too much coffee. But, you know, I always think to myself, there's no such thing as too much coffee. I can drink all the coffee I want. I don't have a caffeine problem. It doesn't do nothing to me. Yeah, right. It does too. It can get me. I am not immune. It can get me. Let me turn it around this way. Just get this side a little closer over here. There we go. Kind of pressing down a little bit as I go, trying to keep the paint flowing on it. But trying not to press down so much that it starts shooting it, because I know what it does. I've had it happen many times. I wonder if the white pen will go over that area of black. I'm gonna try that in just a second. See how what, what that coverage is with that white pen there. See how well it would go over that. Or if it would go over it at all. It may not, or it may turn gray. A lot of times they'll do that. Actually, maybe, here, let's just see. Or is it supposed to be white that I've got it black right here is supposed to be white and no outline right there is what it is. Is that how that looks right? Does that look right? Does that look right maybe? A little more white? Well, I'll tell you what, that white pen definitely goes over that black very well. I like that. As I said, these were Fly C, F L Y S E A. Fly C pens. Marks on anything, waterproof. It says it's for good for stone, glass, paper, leather, ceramic, metal, plastic, skin cloth, and wood. Now, I happen to have gotten the uh, 0.7 millimeter size, the smallest I could get with three white and three black. Really like them. I highly recommend them. They're very good pens. Very good pens. It goes right over that black. And that's, in my opinion, that's a little rare. You don't see that very often, that's for sure. Okay, so let me see. This looks like this needs to come down just a little bit here, more in a point. And okay, and that does not have a line separating it, so don't do that to it. This needs to be more smaller. It's not quite like that. More like that. All right, and this is supposed to be black. Yes, yes. There we go, that's got a nice flow to it there. 
Now I'm curious when they empty, if there's a way to refill them. We will try that as an experiment, I guess, when I get one of them emptied out. Not that that's my goal. <laughs> to hurry up and use it up, I don't want to do that, no. But I am curious if they can be refilled. A lot of times we throw away our paint pens when actually we can refill them. But you have to be careful. I'm telling you, it doesn't always work. I, I, it's, it can be wasting your paint, too. I, I put paint in them, and then it's like it just clogs up and won't come out. And you got to make sure you mix it with water, because this is obviously a very thinned-down version. A very thinned-down version of acrylic paint. But it does have a nice coverage. This is right in here. Kind of jumped around, didn't I? Came all the way down to this end. Gonna work my way back over there. The one thing about these canvases, they are a little. This is a canvas board. It's a little rough. So I'm curious also as to how will it wear down the tips of these pens, since they are a very fine line. But we'll see that too as time progresses, won't we, as we're using this thing here. So far it's keeping a pretty good, pretty good edge to it. What did I just see blinking over here? Huh. Don't know. Something over here blinking back and forth. Going over these lines right here, just filling it in. So luckily I got off Monday. I don't have to work on Monday. Yay! Then I got a doctor appointment on Tuesday, so on that. <laughs> but it's just a checkup. It's nothing. It's nothing. A nothing appointment. Just a checkup appointment. So it's nothing that I have to be worried about. I'm going to go around this area just to darken it up a little bit. Even though there's not much black that goes around here in the actual painting, drawing. Okay, so go Bengals today. Everybody rooting for the Bengals today. This town will explode if they win. It's been so long. They will explode downtown. It'll be something. Sending them all the positive vibes and mojo that we can. Now we're getting down to it really right here, and then we're just going to fill in the background real quick. I don't know if I got this part of the tail of it right. Yeah, kind of. It's close enough. Am I getting it on me? No? You know what, guys? I ain't got any paint on my hands. I'm not sure if I'm actually painting today. You know what I always say, if you haven't got paint on your hands, you haven't really painted. I'm going to have to get the paints out and get painting. My hands are clean. There, now it did a little bit of the spray right there in that white when I pushed that against that piece of the canvas that was rough. It shot it out a little bit. Be careful and not try to rub it against that grain. Just pull it backwards. There we go. Bring this right along through here. Am I still in frame? Yeah. Okay. I'm just checking on you. Stop and look up and see if if you can still see what I'm doing. Let's just go.
goes along his back right here. There. Wow. It's taken me 44 minutes just to get this far, and I still haven't got it colored in. And yeah, this is a little more detail. I thought about just doing the great big cat head. The big bingle cat head. And then I thought, nah, I kind of like the cat that's jumping, though. I like how that looks. I like that. I think that's cool looking. Okay, come back to this side and go back on this edge. Slow down. Start getting careless. Start talking again and then forget what you're doing, color something wrong. I think at this point I can't really color much wrong. It's all just black. Yeah, when it comes to little fine lines like this and trying to do basically logo type things, you might find it easier to just go ahead and get yourself a paint pen. But I always do recommend practicing with your paint brushes, learning to control yourself with your paint brush, using fine line paint brushes, using an eyeliner paint brush. That's an, always a good pen to use as a paint brush, an eyeliner. They work great. Okay, I can see just a little bit of gray there, so I'm just going to kind of put another little bit of white on the top of it right there and right there. Okay, now I see something not quite right. Right here on the thing it's supposed to... Have a jag coming down underneath his chin. And then that also comes up right there. Okay, that's a little better. It's not exact, but that's okay. Not looking to be exact anyhow. All right. Get a little background on here. Get that just a little bit wet. And then we're just going to get this background covered real quick. Another little spot right there, but that's okay. I trust that brush. I mean, I trust that pen. I'm going to be able to fix it. Okay, I'm just going to turn that. Let's go back up here and take some more of this paint. Right down here. <laughs> yeah, just to get some more, I'm going to maybe get myself a little more black paint right here. Just a little bit. Come on. 
<gasps> I'm painting. <laughs> you guys know it. It's got to get on me. I'm painting. I am painting today. There we go. We're just going to bring this up through here. Not too crazy. Okay, now we've got it kind of basically all the way around. I'm just going to take my brush. Maybe not this brush. Maybe I'll get a smaller brush. Get that extra paint out of there. Where's my little brush? Let's take this little guy get some paint in him and then we can just take him and work him right up to this line I like these little flat brushes with these little edges on them like that. They do very good jobs. You can just take the paint and you just work it up into it. Just push it. Just work it right up to the line. Okay, just right around there. Let me get a little bit more paint on here. go to the post office today and get some things weighed. I need to get myself a, uh, a thing for the scale. I got a scale, but I don't really know how to figure out what I'm going to be paying for the post each. So I got to start working on learning a lesson when it comes to stuff like that. How to figure out that postage without having to run always, always be running down there to the post office just to get something weighed and find out what it's going to cost to send it. That's just one extra step. Hmm. Come out of there. Yeah, had a little ookie boogie in it. Get that out. Don't want that. Right there, just get that around that edge. Right around through here. Got a little bit more of a wavy curve to it. So I'm just using the very tip of my brush to bring it around. There we go. Bring this right up. Let me turn it over because there's a little wild hair on one side of this brush that I can see. But I don't want it to start getting over here in the white. Just a little white wild hair getting in the way. Oops, it's trying to. See it right there, that little wild hair? I need to just cut him off or something. Get him out of there. He's just a little annoyance sticking off to the side. I tried to smooth him down, and he refused. So if you don't want to get with the program, I might just have to cut you off. <laughs> Paintbrush, straighten up. Here we go. Just get this around through here on the tail. Kind of bringing that back in that little curve. Right there. Don't want that to look like it's thin now. I'm hoping this dries real quick for us up here. Around 
between the ear, around that ear. That little hair is trying to get in it. Got to keep flipping it over to keep him out. Got to keep him out. I got to fix that little corner right there when I get done. Right around there. Have to get this outlined here. this out right down here see a little couple spots right around the paw Spot down there ain't got no paint. Turn that over. Don't want to get that little hair in there. That one lone hair. Well, actually, it's two little lone hairs that are causing the issue. But that's okay. We're going to trim them off after I get done. Get my scissors and, or maybe my nail clippers and clip them off of there. Okay, now, <clears throat> we have got that guy outlined right there. That's looking pretty cool, I think. It's a real Bengals cat. Wow! All right, so now, I'm going to rinse that off. I'm going to get a little dark green. Guess that green could be darker, but I guess that's dark enough. I'm not going to worry about it. Go back to that. Where are you, number two? Here you are. Get that number two paintbrush again. And I'm just going to start over here. And just... Start making... Some vines... Coming around, maybe another one coming right down through here, going around that way, going off the edge, a one coming up through here. Right up to there. Just kind of making just swirls here and there, not really worrying about how well it fits together. But, you know, I want to make sure that it's at least kind of catching up to itself here. Kind of coming along out of here and up through there. I'm just kind of going all around the place now. Let's make another one just come. 
coming up out of here. This off of the edge. Okay. We got the vines going everywhere. All right, and we're just gonna take our brush and we're just gonna kind of add leaves onto the vine. Just making football shapes, which of course, why would we not be making football shapes? It's a football, football game. Just adding leaves to our jungle. This one might be too late. Next to each other. There we go. And then maybe we got another leaf sticking up over here. And about a leaf here. One here. Almost like making little Christmas lights and they're all green. <laughs> That's what it was making me think of, the Christmas lights that we made earlier this year. Or not this year. That was last year, Janet. Yep, a whole other year ago. We're into a whole new year. Lord, let 2022 be a better year than last year. Amen to that. Getting some more leaves coming in here. Maybe coming over here. Give him a couple of little curly things on him. Turn it this way. There we go, just adding leaves everywhere. Need some more in this space over in here. Where did I get those pens? Uh, I actually ordered those pens through Amazon. Those pens were ordered through Amazon. F-L-Y-S-E-A is the name of the pen. And I got them off of Amazon. I'm just going to add another vine coming right down through there. Few more leaves. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. Let's get the light green.
Hey, Jessica, thanks for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm going to add some of the light green in here now. And I'm just going to take it and just kind of just kind of bring it around. It's like a highlight on some of these areas here, just inside here and inside there and maybe around that. Right around here and right around there and over through here. A little line on the side of that leaf and a little line here and maybe a line there and a little bit inside of here. On the side of there, inside of here, on the side of that one. Put it right there, inside here, on the side of there, on the side, on the side, on this side, right along there. And it doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to be any particular side. I'm just kind of moving along, just picking as I go, just sort of. Well, I'm going to put it here, I'll put some there, I'll put a line there, just to give highlight. Is all I'm trying to do, is just give a little bit of highlights to it. So, this is still kind of wet right in that area, so I'm going to let that one just rest a moment while I play around with these other fun little squiggles. Because that's the idea, is I'm just having fun with it. I'm just kind of just highlighting it up. Trying to give it a little bit of, of a fun feel to it. Maybe a little darker right in there, right underneath that. Let's turn this over here. Bring it through there and around there and on the side of that one. Up through here. Oops, don't get too crazy there. Around the bottom of that, and in that little hole, and in that little hole, and in that little hole. Around through there. Just kind of bringing it around. Sides, the little leaves. Turn it that way. And then I'll just sort of put it there and a line underneath that one. Around that way. Across there. Under there. And that got a little wooky. We'll just pull it along a little better. I'll just keep turning it, huh? Just keep turning it and turning it. Sorry if I'm making you seasick. Okay, we got this little bit right here and here and up through there and right through there and over there and over there and over there and over there. And we have officially got him in the jungle at this point, guys. He is in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. And we got fun and games. That's right. All right, Bengals. All we can say is, go Bengals. Go Bengals. We hope you have a wonderful win today. Thank you guys for joining me. Ooh, how close up that is. Scoot that back out. <laughs> That's what happens when you zoom it in. Anyway, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really appreciate you being here. Have a great day. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.